Hey coders and future coders, welcome to my channel Logically JavaScript. Today we are going to learn Fibonacci series. So let's get started. So what Fibonacci series is? Fibonacci series is nothing but an infinite series or sequence of number where a number is actually the sum of preceding two numbers. Now see one example here. As you can see, it start with 0 and 1. Now if I add 0 and 1, we will get result 1. Then if we add 1 and 1, then we will get 2 as a result. Now the last two number is 1 and 2. Now if we add 1 and 2, we will get 3 as a result. Now the last two digit is 2 and 3. Now we are going to add 2 and 3 and we will get 5 as a new number. Now if we want to get the next number then we will have to add 3 and 5 then we will get 8. Now if we want to get another or the next number then we will have to add 5 and 8 and we will get 13. So this is the way this is the infinite series if we add last two numbers we will get a new number. So it's never ending. So let's get into the action with JavaScript. First, we'll create a folder called Fibonacci series. Now I will open a Visual Studio code or Visual Studio editor here. With the, with the folder Fibonacci series. Now first I will create two files. One is index.html and other one is index.js. Now in index.html I will import that index.js. Now just to check whether it's running properly or not, I will just do a console log in index.js and we'll check in the browser's inspect element or in the console whether it's coming up or not. I just console log hello world. Now I will go into Chrome browser or whatever browser you wish. Then I can see in the command prompt it's hello world. So it's working fine. Now doing the actual code, I am creating a function here, or arrow fu an arrow function, where I am taking a variable called array and as Fibonacci series says that first two number is 0 and 1 that is fixed, so I have taken those numbers in the array, then I loop through with the number I have taken in the function with a new variable i. Now what I am going to do, I am going to push, now I am going to push the sum of last two numbers in the array. How I am going to get this? So I will just have to put array with i minus 2 plus array i minus 1 because if you if you see the first iteration i is 2 so when i push array i minus 2 that is 2 minus 2 is 0 and array i minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 is 1 so i will get the result now if n is equal to more than 2 or 3 whatever it is then in the next iteration i will be 3 so i will get array 3 minus 2 that is 1 and array 3 minus 1 that is 2. So in this way I will get the result and, and I will push the result into the actual array. Now we will return the array.
then I will get the value of n using prompt so we'll have to parse int it because this this can be entered as string so strings are not allowed here so we'll have to do the parse int here so we need to get the series sequence of two then we will call the function with the number n and we will console log the same now let's see the result oh we got an error what's it oh i have misspelled the spelling of prompt misspelled it my bad yeah now it's working now if i put 10 then i will get result 10 10 result there or series of 10 sequences so thank you for watching the video that is it for today thanks for watching please do subscribe and like my video thank you